G'day, welcome to the next video. Today, I was just gonna do a quick edit of the snapper run that we did uh, two days ago. It was blowing 30 knots. It was probably the best we've had that course, 22 kilometers. Um, but going through the footage, I was just like, whoa, this is, it's just bump after bump. Um, so, I know I've done a similar movie to like this before where I've literally just let it run. So that's why it is a little bit longer. Stay tuned to the end for a couple of little things that um, I've done to the Valare. And yeah, enjoy. Um, I think it's just over half an hour, but the bumps were insane. Um, the changes that we've made to the Valare um, actually made a really big difference. Um, I was running the high aspect fin on the canoe, which is very large for Perth, and you're running the gauntlet with the weed over here. We have that really horrible ribbon weed. So I did have to stop twice. Um, I could just feel that the boat speed wasn't maintaining to get into the next bump, and you can probably see in a couple of little clips that yeah, I could have got a bump, but I was just looking back going, oh, I've got weed, I've got weed. So yeah, I did stop a couple of times um, with the stops and a bit of a swim, about two k's from the finish because my stupid leg went into spasm. Um, that's what happens when you have nerve damage. Um, yeah, I, I would have averaged just under 15 kilometers per hour for the 22 k's. So it was a pretty good run. It was a pretty good run. Um, and the footage go is probably around 19 kilometers of that 22. So it's pretty intensive. So if anyone is coming over for the Aokra downwind series race, that's scheduled for WA around the doctor, um, this potentially could be the paddle that you'd be doing. Um, there is talks. So sit back and this is what you could be doing in November. Okay, so this is where I'm trying to tell you that we're about to do a snapper run. The wind's pumping, and potentially this could be the course for the 2021 Aokra Downwind Series when it comes to Perth in uh, November. So we're going to head from Point Perrin at Rockingham all the way to South Beach Frio, and it's windy. Let's do it.
palavra maldita e uma palavra gravada Como um gravata que é uma palavra gaiata Como um goiada que é uma palavra gostosa Como um gravata, como um goiada Muito gostosa, uma palavra Uma palavra escrita e uma palavra maldita e uma palavra maldita e uma palavra gravata Como um gravata que é uma palavra gaiata Como um goiada que é uma palavra gostosa Como um gravata, como um goiada Muito gostosa
speaking to the type of happiness that says
So hope you enjoyed that. Um, I know we certainly did. That was um, that was just an insane run. So on the mods, so you've already know if, if you've watched my previous videos that um, I've changed the Venturi of the Canute. So I've got a bullet, stellar bullet system with a hood, um, and with a bit of water going into the, uh, on that run, um, it sucks super dry. Um, you can see just in that last section where I, I point the camera down, yeah, it was just gurgling away. Um, the big, one of the big changes that um, we got told from um, from Johnny and Jimmy in Hawaii is what they've do, where they're doing is we shortened our front arco, um, and that lifts up your armor off out of the water um, and just it's a completely different canoe um, real loose um, obviously it is going to be a little bit more tibia for people that struggle with a bit of stability um, but just time in the bucket again you'll just get used to it um, but it has made a very big difference to the uh, performance in the bumps um, so that's the first big one and then you can also see in a off I've had a few clips before with using that wave deflector on the cowling. Now, that's not an ideal shape for this canoe. Um, ideally, you'd want to have one that actually follows the, um, the outline of the cowling. Um, the one that I'm using is an old carbon one from a surf ski that I, I used years ago. Um, but it does do the job. However, if you, you notice that there's a lot of water spraying back. So Jimmy's actually messaged me again and just saying ideal position is yes to move that wave deflector further up the cowling. So in an ideal situation, if I had a cowling that did fit, sorry, a wave deflector that did fit that area around the cowling, yeah, that's definitely where I would put it. So if you think that I have got it too far forward, yes, I have got it too far forward just because it's a carbon one that if I tried to bring it back and spread it, it'll just snap in two. So, and then of course, uh, this run was the first time I'd used the high aspect fin, which now comes standard on all the new Valares coming out of the factory. Uh, the, my model came with a, a standard um, nine inch, I think it's a nine inch elliptical, which was the same as the Kahili pretty much. So there's a big difference between the high aspect and the standard surf rudder. It's a little bit narrower, but a lot taller um, and still have that elliptical shape. So it has got a lot of bite. Um, so that was the first time running that fin also. So three things new on the canoe, or not so new. High aspect fin, comes standard now. Wave deflector, and the big one is shortening the front arco. Um, I'm pretty sure the guys from Porkea are gonna come out with um, some info on that shortening of the arco pretty soon. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. I'm pretty sure it's coming. Um, but thanks for watching. I've got about three other heaps of clips back in the pipeline. It's just a matter of getting time to edit them and put them together. There's uh, Surf Ski one, Ari's one, and another Valare one that I still haven't put up on the channel. So don't forget, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the bumps. You.